Yeah, I thought I'd do a nice test. Uh, I really shouldn't be doing infrared photography when the sun is uh, that far beyond the horizon. But anyway, I'm on bulb setting. Doesn't matter if I'm going to hold it by finger on a tripod. Test out an R72 infrared filter. Right now I'm using a Nikon 35mm f2 with the Fuji X-T10. Get a nice uh, countdown. Um, after you take the shot, I'm on bulb setting right now, I'm going to do a 11-second uh, exposure. There is a significant processing time. Right now you can see it processing. Um, you do a count. I've actually not done a count of the dozen or so times I've tested it on the X-T10. There we go. That was at about six seconds or so. Let's take a look at what we've got. Very nice. Yes, indeedy. Like I said, you should not be doing infrared photography this late in the evening. Normally you would want bright sunlight, obviously so. There is a processing lag time, but um, of the couple shots I've actually tested, uh, taking a peek at at the computer, um, I actually guess uh, think that uh, that uh, the uh, Fuji X-T10 uh, does uh, an exquisite job, um, other than the processing time afterwards on the bulb exposure. It does an exquisite job on the output uh, for infrared photography. Like I said, I'm using a Hoya R72 infrared filter um, and a Nikkor 35mm, uh, my favorite lens for infrared photography, 35mm Nikkor F2. Of course, I see people do a lot of convoluted uh, BS when they do infrared photography. And a lens like this, I mean, it's all landscape, and uh, your actual focus throw is very minimal. So all you have to do is just take it to infinity and back it off a hair, and then uh, hit your shutter uh, release. In my case, it was my finger, but, you know, it's for demos purpose only. But, yes, the output uh, is actually rather exquisite. like a lot. don't like the excessive uh, processing time afterwards, but... Uh, the results are really nice. They're actually, I've uh, tested a lot of cameras in infrared, and uh, this one is uh, extremely nice, uh, especially in the 720 nanometer range. I have not tested it yet in 520 uh, or 590 nanometers. But anyway, thanks for watching. So I couldn't find this information anywhere else too, and I love infrared photography, so I wanted to test that out. And nobody really makes mention of it. So thanks for watching. Catch you later, buddy.